This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 15 of the Orc Gunwagon Choyo. Alright, let's uh, start with this switch thing over here. So move this in. Alright, um, create a cylinder uh, using auto grid, and align it to uh, this. This other cylinder here. Uh, bring the height segments down to one. Increase the sides to about 20. Um, and increase the radius quite a bit. And sink it right in. Actually, increase the sides to about 30. the other side. Actually, no. Uh, convert it to an editable poly. Uh, select that. Select that. Uh, get the edges. Chamfer them. Okay. Uh, get that polygon and this polygon. That. Hit ignore back facing if you don't want to select that one. Uh, inset it. Okay, and uh, just bevel it inward a bit. Okay, um, select this and align it to that one. Okay, bring it out just a bit. Select this, copy it over. Increase the radius of this to about two or three point two. Yeah. Um, just copy this up and decrease the radius to about two, and uh, just shrink it a bit, and just generally align it here. I can go to the back view to do this. Let's try to get it in the middle. All right, go back to perspective. Um, convert it to an editable poly. Grab uh, both the ends. An edge, chamfer. Uh, you can give that one uh, two chamfers, actually. And editable poly. Drag it out. And I'm going to scale it down a bit more. Okay, uh, go into the box. I make a box. Okay, then bring it up. Okay, decrease uh, the length a bit. Convert it into an editable poly. Put edge, control A to select everything. Uh, chamfer it about 0.13. Okay, and just copy it over. Alright. Good. Um, select this, convert to an editable poly. Select all the edges here. Connect them twice, okay. Select all these polygons, bevel on their local normal, decrease the height a bit, bring the outline amount to about negative 0.21. Alright, uh, inset, and then bevel using the same settings except this time, uh, make the height 0.2 instead of negative 0.2. Alright, um, looks pretty good, except actually let's get this, let's select these poly the polygons on both sides, inset it about 1, uh, extrude about negative 0.2, okay, um, 
here, I'm going to use a cylinder on auto grid. I'm just kind of align it in the general center of it. Okay. Increase the sides to uh, 40. And the radius here is about 10. And make the height about 1.1. Convert to an editable poly. Go to the polygon mode, edges, uh, chamfer them about 0.18. Uh, the polygon again, uh, inset about mm, that much. Okay. Give it a uh, bevel just a bit. Okay. Uh, extrude this. About about two. Select the edges, chamfer. Get that one a bit more, about 0.28 for the chamfer. And um, next, let's select or hit one of these edges. Hit ring, connect uh, twice. Okay. Select the edge in the middle there. Ring it. Select all those polygons and bevel on the local normal. Bevel it in and increase the outline amount to about negative 0.14. Okay, uh, next we're going to want to build a box on top of this. So just make a little box. Okay, uh, convert it to an editable poly. Polygon, select the top edges. And chamfer them. Okay, get this polygon. Uh, inset it a bit. Oops. Alright, uh, inset it. Scale it down a bit. Move it to the right hand side. Uh, give it a bevel. Set it one last time, extrude it about uh, 0.26, get that edge, extrude by about mm, 2.8. Actually, this entire thing looks a little small, so I'm going to scale it up a bit. Okay, and uh, let's do that. Like that again. Go to this polygon here and just scale it on the Z axis a bit so it gets a little wider. Uh, select its edges, chamfer. Okay. Select all those edges, chamfer them. And lastly, select all these edges right here. And chamfer those. Okay, uh, looks pretty good there. Next, let's get some of these bolts we created up here. Uh, just if I could if it only center to object, copy it, okay. Move it down a bit more, rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna just shrink it back. Bring it around. Uh, you can scale it down a bit. Alright, effect pivot only. Uh, just center it to that cylindrical object there. Rotate it by 90. Three copies. Select all those. Rotate them by 45. Okay. Um, next, uh, well, actually, that'll be it. Uh, that's it for part 15. I'll see you in part 16.